and welcome back to the second part of making a 3D cube inside Tony Vegas. And as I, I explained on the first video, we're going to be working a lot with the X, Y, and Z axis uh, to move inside 3D space. So for the time being, make sure your Z and Y axis are locked and only the X axis is unlocked since uh, that way we can only move from left to right. So what we do right now is click on the video clip and drag it out to your left. And now we're going to specifically move it to the precise uh, pixel we want it. We're going to go into the X axis and type in negative 500 pixels. Click enter. Now we're, we're going to start to rotate it, but to do that what we need to do is there's a small circle right here. We're going to click on it and drag it to the right. We want the vertical line to be aligned perfectly with the edge of the clip. And to do this, we're going to go to the offset right here, the X offset, and type in 250 pixels. Click enter. Now we're going to rotate it, and to do this, we're going to click on the horizontal line and drag it to the right. And that rotates it. So we're going to specifically type in on the Y uh, rotation offset 90 degrees or 90 pixels. Click enter, and that clip is done. We're then going to do the same thing with the right uh, side. And click it, drag it out to the right, type in 500 pixels on the X axis. 500 pixels, click enter. We're then going to drag the offset to the left. Type in negative 250 pixels, click enter. Rotate it at negative 90 degrees on the Y axis rotation, and that one is done too. Same operation uh, for the top and bottom, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to lock the X axis, axis and unlock the Y axis. Click the clip, drag it up. Now we're going to move. We're going to specifically type in 500 pixels on the Y axis. Click enter. Drag the offset down. Type in negative 250 pixels on the Y offset. Rotate it at 90 degrees on the X rotation axis. And that one is done. Same operation for the bottom. We're going to drag the clip down. We're going to type in negative 500 pixels. Enter. Drag the offset up at 250 pixels on the Y offset. Rotate it now at negative 90 degrees. And that part is also done. Now the first track we had we had ignored, which was the front track, we're now going to work with this track. It's going to be uh, basically a cover. Now on this section you can see where it says front. Right here you can change the perspective from which you're looking at your clip that you're editing. So we're going to change it to top. So it's, it's as if we're looking at it from the top view. Now what we want to do is to make sure we uncheck the z-axis and check the y-axis. That way we can move it forward and backwards. As you can see in the preview window, it's moving forward and backwards in 3D space. Now what we're going to specifically type in is uh, negative 500 pixels. That way it's going to move precisely to cover up the rest of the clips that we've already moved in 3D space. And with that done, congratulations, you just made your first 3D cube. It's done. And we can go to the first track and then uh, start moving it so you can see how it's moving and it's completely formed. Remember the first track is the parent track in which uh, you can basically move everything uh, as one single cube. And that's what we're doing here. The cube is completely formed as you can see. And now it's all really up to you on how you want to move this cube. Uh, you can do this by keyframing uh, the movements and moving them specifically to synchronize with your beat, the music, or with whatever special effects you have in mind. Uh, at this point on, it's really up to you. I can show you some uh, random crappy way that uh, you can move it. It'll be real sporadic, but uh, it's just an idea uh, to keyframe it. You just uh, move it a little bit and then uh, move the, the little scroller on the timeline and then uh, move the cube a little bit and that way the movements are all being uh, uh, produced or generated uh, as you're doing this. And that way, you know, you, you make your cube. But um, with this in mind, uh, I hope this tutorial helps you or has helped you to make an effect. And remember, you, you've just touched the basics on how to work with 3D inside Sony Vegas or in any other program for that matter. But um, there's a really a lot that you can do with uh, 3D effects inside Sony Vegas. It's really just up to your imagination how you want to do these. So I encourage you to, to try this out and me, even if you're not going to use a cube, just try to practice and get the experience. Like I said, whenever I wanted to make a particular effect, I didn't really need a cube. I wanted something else, but I had to learn to make the cube. As a matter of fact, I, uh, it's basically this, this effect that was in a multi-editor project. Uh, it was a Rubik's Cube, as you can see right here. And uh, it's very complex, but uh, I had to learn to make the cube first. And, and so uh, that's how I came to learn to make the cube. 
but the same thing can apply to you maybe there's an effect that you want to learn and that uh, you specifically need to learn this effect for it well go ahead and learn it and as a matter of fact post a video response to, to this one and, and show um, how you've been able to apply uh, these effects and with that in mind you know I think I'm about ready to go hang myself I, I really don't like my voice so um, to make this tutorial was actually sort of a, a, a nightmare <laughs> I had a lot of trouble to just build up the courage to make this. But anyways, I hope this helped you out, everyone, and um, I guess see you next time.